Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to calculate hours worked using the mode function and basic formula. And thereafter, we're going to calculate the gross pay from the hours worked. So let's get started. Now, looking at our sample data set, we can see we have this list of employees, and this is the start time and, of course, the end time. So we're going to calculate the total numbers of hours worked. And of course, we're going to calculate the gross pay. Now, in cell D2, I'm going to deploy the equal sign and type in the mode function. Now, this function returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So, press the tab key. Now, we need to provide the number and the divisor parameters, input values, or arguments. So, for the number, I'm going to take the end time minus the start time. And then put in a comma. So for the device, so I'm going to type in one and close parenthesis and control enter. We can see this employee Jones started working by 5:10 p.m. and the shift ended by 2:10 a.m. So that is nine hours worked. So I'm going to copy the formula down using the auto field. So just drag down. And then we can see this employee called parents started working by 7.30 a.m. And the shift ended by 8.30 p.m. So the total numbers of hours worked is 13 hours. Now let's do the same thing using the basic formula. I'm going to type in equal sign. In this case, we're not going to use any function. So I'm just going to take the end time minus the start time. And I'm going to use the plus sign and open brackets. So I'm going to check whether this end time is less than or equals to the start time. Close parenthesis, control enter. You can see this will be turned nine hours. Okay. So I'm going to copy the formula down. And of course, you can see we achieved the same outcome, which is beautiful. Now let's calculate the gross pay in column G. So equal sign, I'm going to take the hourly rate and multiply by the total numbers of hours worked. So let's take, for instance, this nine hours. But when I control enter, it's going to give me an accurate gross pay, okay? Because this fellow worked for nine hours and the hourly rate is 21 pounds. Definitely, the gross pay is not 7.88 pounds, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is to F2 this formula, and open parenthesis and close parenthesis, and multiply by 24 hours, okay? And when I control enter, bam, we can see, this is the accurate gross pay, which is 189 pounds. So I can drag down the formula and then we have been able to compute the gross pay. Now let's verify, okay? So I'm going to come to cell I2, equal sign. I want to take this hourly return of pounds multiplied by nine hours. So I'm going to just type in nine and control enter, see what happens. Cool. We achieve the same outcome. So this is basically how we can calculate the total numbers of our work and the gross pay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel because there's a lot to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.